See when the game came out really quick. Um, sorry. Twenty two thousand three, huh? So, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so this is Raven Shield. You might not know this game. Or maybe you know it from the Xbox original incarnation, which was not the good version, let's say. Um, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. And as you can see, we have this nice, really tiny menu here. Nobody's playing at all, which is pretty amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so, we're going to create a server. Just ourselves. You know, we're just going to I'm gonna set the timer at like. Oops. Time per round. Let's do like three minutes because I don't want it to go too long here. Set it at a 99 seconds. Uh, rounds, five, land, doesn't matter, whatever. Okay, so I have some maps set up, uh, which I feel are like the good maps. Uh, auto balance, no force first person weapon. A lot of people didn't play with a weapon on screen. I did, but I could see why they wouldn't. Death cam, restrictions if you wanted to do that like a jerk. Whatever. So, let's just launch the game. Alright. So, this is Garage. I think it's by far the best map. And uh, we're going to start on the green team. We're going to gear up. So, the guns with built in scopes were the best. Ultimately, everyone was using the FAMAS with just a, a scope. Uh, but the FAMAS has a lot of recoil, and as such, I was a bigger fan of the AUG or the uh, G36K. Uh, there was L85 was another one, but it wasn't that good. Uh, Type 97 was a good equip a scope weapon, but having the guns with the built-in scope, of course, allows you to equip the high-capacity magazine in the place of the scope because there's a radio scope, right? And the pistol, without a doubt, the best pistol is the MK23. Um, I think I might have some Athena sword weapons on here, like this one. Or maybe... Maybe not. No, I don't. This is not the Athena sword weapons. Uh, there's like a semi-auto pistol. Like a three-round burst. Athena sword was not very good. So anyways, high-capacity magazine on the, on the MK23 and hollow point. Uh, and then, of course, both slots filled up with frags. And let's ready up. <laughs> uh, so, it's kind of cool that it allows us to play a multiplayer match by ourselves, so I can just look at the map. So this is a green spawn. Uh, no one typically comes back here, and no one would camp back here unless they were like really new to the game. The radar only shows your friendlies, so it was not one of those games, and it is round-based, so it's you know, you get killed, you have to wait for the rest of the round, the way it should be. So, there's two choke points on the garage map. One is right out here. Uh, first, let me show you the showroom you can run into. And this is just a car showroom, there's an upstairs. Uh, this is where you go to hide when you're the last man alive, pretty much. But the choke point here 
is uh, this parking lot, which was the lesser of the two used. And the red spawn is actually right over there. I really like asymmetrical spawns. I don't like even maps. Keep stuff lame. But that was the lesser used of the choke points. In fact, I'd say like 9 times out of 10, the entire team went this way. To this hallway. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to hide behind if you are forced to retreat. You can go in this back room. Hide behind some windows. Do some funny business here. That's the hallway in question. Uh, I like to use single shot when I'm peeking at slivers like this. The AUG just has a really awesome sound. And peeking was very important. A lot of people make fun of the peeking mechanic in games these days, but it was really amazingly important because you're always doing this, basically. So you could have set up a vantage point here, someone in the window over there, someone behind the tires. You could have someone right up front peeking down this. Uh, this is the main point of contention is right this junction right here, pretty much. Uh, there is a place back here, another place <clears throat> for the green team, strangely enough, another place for the green team to just run away and hide in hopes that they don't find you. Like if the round is ending soon and you're the last guy left, you come back here and uh, either try to glitch behind this stuff, which I don't know if they fixed the glitching. Uh, but there were a lot of places where you could tap crouch twice, and instead of going prone, you would just then teleport on top of an object. Uh, but that's, you know, that was fun. A lot of uh, trolley stuff went on then. Uh, but we played mostly straight laced. And of course, this is just going, this is just another way back into the uh, green team area. See, here's the, the dark room. So back to this hallway. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you were here, you're probably dead. Like, this is too close. The red team's already perched up. Um, <clears throat> but... The round is a draw. Oh, fuck. I didn't even get to show you anything. Okay, so let's... Select the red team. And start it on that side. Uh, let's switch our gun to... The... Uh, FAMAS. Just so you can get an idea of... Uh, how crazy this gun recoils. You can see why people turn off the gun model. So this is the red spawn. And as you can see, they can get pretty much up to the door. Uh, but it's still risky to enter. Because there's going to be guys perched up there. Maybe someone's already hiding in the showroom. And something to note is you can just shoot through the doors. That was a really cool feature. They don't really blow up. I don't think they do. Maybe they do. They do. Okay. They blow up. And people would argue that you don't need high capacity magazine because 30 bolts is more than enough to deal with any encounter. But I like to just provide useless suppression fire and that's what the high capacity mags are for. So, yeah, this is definitely the lesser of the two used. Uh, people would shoot through doors with thermal, for instance, right here if they're in the showroom. So it was just not a good approach for the red team. So instead, the red team would rather go this way. As you can see, we have plenty of hiding spots here, like the green team's side. And, uh, yep, more hiding spots here. And here's the main point. So some people would go over here, peek right away. Uh, and some people would go up to this area and peek. And, you know, maybe even switch to frags. And there were some, like, cool tactics you could use, like lining up your, your frag uh, to, like, this line cooking it, which, by the way, cooking, you cook it forever. It would never blow up. And then just peeking from here, and that's the perfect it's the perfect angle uh, to bank around that corner and get the people who are also peeking. So, like, yeah, the fact that you could cook it, peek, Frag. oh, fuck! <laughs> now, that happened a lot as well, but uh, there's definitely an animation to that, which uh, I'm not used to. Yeah, the fact that you could, uh, Well, now I'm not lined up anymore. I don't know what I did differently, but the yeah, the fact that you could cook it and then peek and then release right, and just get the fuck out was pretty nice. 
But yeah, I mean, if you're doing run and gun with the FAMAS, it goes crazy. It's, it's a crazy gun. So you have to master the art of aiming down, uh, aiming down progressively as you shoot to make sure it stays even. Some guns had a three-round burst, and some didn't. They're typically pretty shitty, though the FAMAS three-round burst was okay. But once again, I just like to peek and single shot. The scopes definitely look a little different on these additional scopes rather than the built-in ones. This was kind of a, a spot that no one expected. You could also shoot that. Or could you? Did I already... I must have already popped it open. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And if one side pushes, the other side retreats. The round is a draw. And they'll retreat to here where they have several hiding spots or even a step behind that. And that was kind of the uh, the general gist of Raven Shield multiplayer. It was this like tug of war for space and just a couple hot spots, a couple choke points. Uh, maybe I should have switched here. Let's just kill ourselves and. Um, out. And yes, friendly the fire. Friendly fire is on. Uh, and you, there was a lot of opportunities for griefing, you know, to be honest. Uh, there were several team kills that I've done just for fun. I mean, you were a stupid teenager, so. Let's see. Let's change our settings here. Now, to get into some of the more the shotguns. Not good, surprisingly, uh, except on a sniping map, which doesn't make any sense. But I'll show you what people did. They selected this tiny little sniper rifle with a thermal scope, and uh, they would get smoke grenades. Okay. Let's switch teams to the green team. All right. Small clips in these, but say, for instance... Uh, that someone was approaching here. And we had a smoke grenade out. Smoke out! Right? And you can see the smoke, and it actually only appeared on the outside, which is funny. But you could scope in. And this, uh, I don't know how to activate thermal, actually. Okay, there's a way to activate thermal. I'm not sure what it is. That's night vision. I don't know how to activate thermal, guys. <laughs> that's night vision. Okay, that's not thermal. Uh, how do I activate thermal? Oh, alt fire? There it is. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, you get the idea. So, basic gist of it would be smoke out. Smoke inside the room that you're in and then you could shoot through doors with thermal and you know you could do single shot but typically the Venteres was so weak that you kind of had to do full bursts of like half or the full clip you know through the door like that and there's that you could also mouse wheel up and down and which the mouse wheel on this mouse is kind of broken but yeah you could totally do that here let me switch mouse I have multiple mice here there you go so you could mouse wheel up and down to like just creak the door open uh, so in this case let's close it and mouse wheel it like that which that was viable but I didn't really use it since my middle mouse is open I didn't want to also have me scroll by accident and op uh, creak the door instead of open it fully. So I would usually unbind that. Some people bound uh, mouse wheel down to lower position and mouse wheel up to raise position because you can do the lower lower to get to prone. But that's pretty much garage. You know, you would either you would push it at some point in the, the hot spot and advance to their position or you would get pushed and then you would retreat to a position like this where you can then scope them out here as they're coming in. Which we should talk about the pistol as well, uh, which MK23 is like super accurate. Not a lot of damage, but uh, like no recoil. 
the, the shots just come off really satisfying. And Jacket Hollow Point works a lot better for capping fools in the head. So that's what you do. The round is a draw. That's garage, pretty much. Um, from my recollection. Uh, server options. I don't know how to switch maps. I guess I'll just kill myself one more time. It'll just be a draw game. That's not what I want. Frag it up. Frag out. Hmm. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. Bang 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 bang. And now it would load the next map. So this is uh, Island Estate. I like how green and red team, they were never the color of their name. I believe these guys start outside. So let's go green team. Let's go back to my normal shit. Uh, this is a really close quarters map. So this is one of the instances where a submachine gun might be good. I got Micro Uzi, MP5, SD5, a TAR. Um, the MTAR, the P90 was not that good. TMP uh, was TMP was probably the MVP, I'd say, of the close quarters. And of course, if you have the opportunity to change bullets, you should always go to Jacket Hollow Point. Uh, and assault rifles don't have that, but uh, SMGs do, of course. So let's go back to frags. Six frags is really good. Some instances breaching charges were kind of fun. Heartbeat stuff. Um, I think a lot of people banned this. These were typically restricted. Uh, though some matches, you know, and you found sensor and sensor jammer. I guess we could, you know, go through that. Yeah, we typically kind of banned the heartbeat sensor. Because you'd do this, and you'd see a little ping on the screen. Um... I think it was kind of down the middle. So, this is the green spawn. You're in this little courtyard thing. And we're going to discover this together because I don't remember what's what. Alright, yeah, this is definitely... This is definitely the choke point right here. Once you open this door, you are in danger. And especially, like, right here, peeking around this staircase. Uh... There could already be people in a, an advantageous position. So not all the spawns were even. And typically they would be upstairs like this already, ready to scope you out nakedly. What's up? As you can see, the TMP is pretty fucking legendary fire rate-wise. And you don't get a three-round burst, but who, why would you need it? Just go spray shit, you know. Blow up a door. Fuck doors, right? Um... I believe they spawned outside, but I could be completely wrong. But if they did, this is the back door. They start way down there by the boat, and they typically come in here. But some would go through the kitchen to just throw you off. So, from the green side, let's go back that way since we're on the green team. Uh, I believe the course of action is to go this way. And you could hide in here if you wanted. Could hide under the stairs if you wanted, just saying. But typically, we take the top route, and this would be the point of contention, like right here ish to maybe right here. Maybe would make it to this door, maybe wouldn't. I don't know, I'd have to time it. It's been so long. Uh, but there's also a nice little upstairs area out here. So let's go check that out. Man, this is just bringing back memories. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, so there's a poolside. This stuff was underutilized out here, other than just a passage to this door. So, red team sometimes would, uh, I believe they would get here in time to be able to slip in this way. So if you have someone that's about to come pressure from the green team down this hall, red team would slip in here and try to, uh, you know, do this sort of thing. And that's fun. How do I get down there? I'm gonna go down. Pool table, we can play some pool. Look at those aren't those aren't round. Okay. Yeah, but uh if you did manage to make it through, like no one was covering this position as a red team, then you could start lighting shit up. There's usually 
someone out there. There's usually someone over here. Uh, if they have to fall back and retreat, the they might go into here, cool. which is this like dead end bedroom. Let's try the red team. This island state one. Okay, yeah, red team starts here. That's interesting. So the other one must start by the boat, the other island estate. There's two maps of it. So they come in, peek here, or book up the stairs. And, you know, get ready to cook and aid. And once the door opens, you know, or someone would blow the door and you would immediately be cooking it, ready to throw the second one. Something like that. Not a lot of options from here. You, you know, pretty much have to go that way if you go up there. Uh... Of course, they have this, which is connected to the outside. This is more utilized in the other island estate, I believe. It's just a cubby hole with a washer and dryer. Yeah, but if you spawn here, this is kind of a common entry point, but that's the other one. Man, this game is bringing back all kinds of memories and stuff. So, I don't remember a lot of kitchen stuff. I don't remember a lot of this in general. Maybe I just am not used to the red team spawn because no one really came down here to the pool um yeah no one really came down here this is kind of a stupid i think every map has like dumb hiding spot if you're the last guy alive that you should go to that so this kind of open you're, you're kind of fucked here but so nice little weight room and get swollen here um Beach ball. I love beach balls. That also leads to the pool area. Yeah, but this is just a really fun CQC. CQC, oh god. Uh, map. The other island estate is better. As you'll see in a bit. But you can also play the piano, which is kind of the best thing ever. That's Island State, though. It's just fun. One of the few excuses to use the SMG. So, you know, I like it. Zoom in, but no one does that. A lot of shooting from the hip in this game, pretty much. Except when you're, like, sneakily... We call this little sliver camping. Uh, camping the sliver. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's Island State. Uh... Can I just go to next map? Next map? Fucking next. Fuck. I'm the, the host, right? Whatever. I can't kill myself, so I gotta wait for. I wasted my frags. Oh, yes, I can. The round is a draw. It's a PC game. Of course you can. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to change my server options, so... The round is a draw. Music's pretty cool. There's barely any in the game, but it's pretty cool. The round is a draw. That wasn't the last one? Okay. The round, is, the round a is a draw. That's just a draw. Love this lady. Love that lady. Anyways. So, on to the next map. I don't know what I have selected. The fuck? I don't even know what this map is. Shipyard? The fuck is shipyard? <laughs> I don't even remember this map. Uh, let's select a G36K, which was the scrub weapon, the, the common scrub weapon. They called the ones with built-in scopes scrub weapons. I don't know why. Uh, it just seems like a logical thing with less recoil than FAMAS. It's clearly the superior gun, but whatever. So this is Shipyard, and this map was not played often. Uh... 
I believe I selected this thinking it was warehouse. Uh, yeah, but this is one of the, the like, half the maps are not played ever. So it's not as bad as uh, Counter-Strike, where only a couple maps were played. But yeah, you spawn back here, it's green, and there's this expansive shipyard, I guess, <laughs> outside here. And there's just tons of BS camping to be had. This is probably not, yeah, not doable. Uh, you have your flaming barrels. I just, oh yeah, that was a cool feature of um, Rainbow Six was gimping, you know? Or jimping as a, you, you yiff. <laughs> Holy shit, the longest bear! <laughs> That's way too far, no way! What? Did you see how far that blew me up? Oh my god, this game's amazing. Anyways, <laughs> see, red team, like, I don't even know what's going on with this map, like, okay, red team, I would just go up these stairs, there's some office stuff on the third floor, yeah, like, you could peek over here, um, this game is very slow, very methodical, there's shit over here, this map fucking blows, we're not even gonna talk about this map, let's just... Let's just end it. Frag, out. The round is a I'm sorry, this map. I I thought it was a uh, warehouse. I apologize. This won't happen again. I got some names mixed up. The round is a draw. Do 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 the round is a draw. I do a remix of that song, I think. Anyways. Yeah, so let's just skip fucking warehouse. Fuck this map. The round is a draw. This map was not good. The observer mode was pretty good. Uh okay. Now we're into fucking real maps here. You ready for this shit? So Penthouse, the, the map, this is a legendary map, super imbalanced. So we're going to select a 50 cal Deagle, hollow point, with a high capacity magazine. Silencers would lower your damage, by the way, so you typically didn't want them. It's not like you show up on radar or anything, there's no radar for the enemy. So, Penthouse, green team starts up top. There's a gigantic flight of stairs. Multiple flights of stairs. I don't know how you refer to that. Which goes downstairs. You could jump down here and break your leg. Oh, nope. Not quite. Uh, but yeah, any height greater than that, you would definitely break your leg and be limping. So, green team had the advantage of hiding in a fucking jungle. You had this garden upstairs. Uh, and all these doors are paper. Obviously, it's like this whole Japanese theme. And, um, yeah, they would hide in these bushes and shit, which don't look nearly as concealing as they did back in the day. Maybe the graphics just look really nice now compared to... No, I had a pretty dope PC. So, this door was the door of hell. And, uh, you would have thermal snipers hiding in the bushes, waiting for someone to run up into the paper door area so they could see through the paper door and just light them up, right? And the smoke tactic would be employed here. Uh, and this is the choke point. Like, this door opened up. If you peeked your head out, pop! You know? Or if this guy peeked his head out this way as the red team, pop! Or even if, you know, he didn't, even if he just walked behind the closed door, pop! Um, but yeah, the red team, at least in this choke point here, would camp like here, or here, you know, uh, secondary guy under the stairs for the guy that never really drops down, and that sort of stuff. Uh, you would think the green team had an advantage because of that, that uh, jungly area up there, uh, and certainly the height advantage was there, but I actually like playing the red team a lot more. Uh, let's go over the... Let's just shoot this gun a little bit. The G36K. Quite good. Uh, a little faster fire rate than the AUG. 
still pretty minimal recoil. As you can see, it takes quite a few, uh, but not with the deagle. It takes uh, six bullets, more than enough to kill any door that moves. Um. So you could see why they equipped the deagle. Or I guess I'll go over it when we go to the red team. Let's just do that right now. Six frags is kind of a lot. Um, luckily, luckily in Raven Shield, it's mostly close quarters stuff. So you can't just chuck grenades across the entire map. So let's go to the red team. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> so you'd start here. Switch to your deagle. There's a soccer game going on. And typically, people would be like getting stuck on each other trying to run. And rather than get stuck at these doors, because people would try to open them and everyone there'd be like six people behind you. And it was just the biggest mess ever. That's what you have the deagle for. You switch to it. Whoever's in front of everyone else just caps it, you know, so. Like that. Um running to it and that that saves time it actually gives the red team a lot more time to set up instead of getting stuck at doors and uh, yeah so if you cap those two doors uh, then you can have guys set up shop in this hallway uh, and of course this hallway leads to the infamous giant stairwell it's not that giant but like let's see that's half a flight that's a whole flight that's half a flight. That's okay. It's just two flights. That seemed giant in my head. Uh, but yeah, I mean, green team actually at a pretty big disadvantage here. If they're running down these stairs, uh, it's not a, a good look for them because of this hallway being heavily guarded. Um, and the choke point is just so small. Uh, it's it's different than the the jungle upstairs, basically. And of course, they have these like deagle tactics on the red team which allow them to get even better position uh, depending so yeah once again just a couple choke points on the map but a lot of fun there are a lot of vacant rooms in this penthouse that you can go hide in which is fun it, it's a nice uh, element of hide and seek as you can see there's some sweet punching bags and shit you can look over this hallway for whatever reason there's uh, yet another floor yeah, they cheered for me, see that? They're hype. There's a back stairs uh, thing here. I want to get up another flight here. I don't know how to do that. This computer room, which uh, you could, you know, go prone behind this table. Hope for the best. <laughs> a lot of uh, scummy camping tactics around here. And if you had heartbeat sensors, it eliminate a lot of that but like a lot of people didn't like that so yeah anyways if you wanted to get to the uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to get to the other camping spot for the red team you had to go up this way up here it's, it's quite a trek right so the red team's at a, a disadvantage coming to this or they'd wrap around that way or just come through this way there's also this staircase the round is which is door. right in front of the uh, doorway itself that you break open not much else to say about this map I just find it a lot of fun yeah So yeah, I mean, that's about as quick as you can get up there. Let's go back to green. The round is a draw. So green team. What's going to get? We're going to get our vent out with our thermal. Whoops. And usually you would only have like 30 or 45 seconds to gear up. 
Uh, but, you know, I'm not good at this anymore. I'm not fast. This is as fast as you can go, by the way. There's no uh, sprint. No Call of Duty shit. No aim down the sights. I don't like the multiple zoom levels of this. That's why I don't like snipers. But yeah, here you are. Uh, you would smoke it up. You throw smoke at the door. And then you would <clears throat> kind of just scope in. Thermal. And then if someone comes through the other side, there you are. They can't see anything when they walk up the stairs. And, you know, there you are. Pat, 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 pat. Look at that. That's a lot of smoke, right? If you have multiple snipers, it's just uh, insurmountable odds. So this was a supreme disadvantage, but there was a couple blitzes that could happen. And we're already out of bullets. See, the VIN was not uh, necessarily the best. Deagle, some people preferred it over the MK23 just as your regular pistol, but... MK23 is better in a pinch when there's a guy like right on your grill and you have no more bullets or you don't reload or whatever. I wonder how much faster it is than actually reloading. Still pretty slow. Like everything Rainbow Six is pretty slow. Break that. You know. But yeah, that's Penthouse. I think it's probably my favorite map. That and Garage. Uh, the round is a draw. Can't really show you how much cooler it is without people playing the game. I'm going to try and get West AB to play this game. We're going to do, like, 1v1s. <laughs> it's going to be hype. Uh, it's not going to have the same element, of course, because you only have 1v1, right? So if someone goes one way, someone goes the other way, it's a very different dynamic. But still fun. Uh, I did a lot of 1v1s in my time. The round is a draw. The match and is a draw. I could pretty much back my shit up. Back then I was doing, like, 30 and 2 stints and people call me hackers. I was pretty good at this game. Here's Island Estate 2. Green team is blue this time, where red is uh, tan. Let's go back to our... I mean, I wish you could just have loadouts, you know? So, for instance... Let's do a Type 97, which is, like, the closest to a uh, SMG... It's the closest to an SMG assault rifle that there is. Let's do a breach charge here. Let's just try something else, right? Flashbangs. Oh, by the way, flashbangs uh, were very good. That's the only other grenade other than smoke and frag. So Type 97 is like, I guess, like the version of a Type 95, like some improved version of it, which no one seems to have ever heard of. But this was my first weapon using the game, and I liked it a lot. I like it. it just had a satisfying recoil and sound so I liked it it wasn't like the best so here's our green team spawn in the bedroom and as you can hear Ave Maria uh, this is super iconic for me first time I heard this song even though it's been in like tons of action movies and shit you know uh, as a kid I was just like man what is this song I had to look it up Ave Maria that's my jam because it's, it's such a contrast to what's going on on the screen. I really loved it. So, Island State 2, green team gets the balcony overlook. And it's very quick uh, compared to the other version where red team gets it from the outside. It's a, it's more of a trek. Where's this? Frag, out. Someone throws a frag and then as soon as it blows frag, up, out. you check the next frag. And you fuck some people up that way. Pretty good running gun weapon. The Type 97. I might use it with a C mag in this instead of a scope. There's no point. But yeah, it's the same map otherwise, just with an awesome tune going on. When you come out here, you hear a little crickety, whatever, monkey bird sound effect. I don't know what those are. See, I'm not really sure where the red team spawns, so I kind of have to figure that out. 
The round is a draw. This was definitely the better version of the map, though. Just because of Ave Maria, which is maybe the best thing. Um, Tar 21. There's an M Tar, but I think the Tar was a better version in general. So, red team. Oh, wow. Okay, so people don't spawn out by the boat. I thought they did. So red team spawns here as opposed to green team who spawned here in Island State 1. So pretty similar spawns. Like very slightly different, but that's the thing. One room of difference makes it a different map. It really does. Like spawns were very important and knowing what you had to do based on your current spawn. So red team could get up here uh, and I think Island Estate 2 is more the map where this hallway was very serious contention because they're both pretty fucking close to it. Yeah, the car had a pretty good fire rate, but as you can see running the crosshair expanded, your accuracy is like shit. Um, we did some pretty nefarious stuff, not me, but I knew a lot of people who would set up keybinds to crouch and shoot at the same time. so. They'd have a hold to crouch. You could set it to hold to crouch. So you just say your, uh, let's just say your right click is crouch plus shoot. And then when you release right click, it uncrouches uh, and stops shooting. It's pretty interesting. We also had like complicated keybinds where like you would peek, it would switch to single. You would pop off a shot. And then when you released peek, it would switch back to full auto. Uh, like, people were pretty dirty in that sense. But we didn't look at it as cheating because you could just edit the I and I. Yeah, like, you could just edit the I and I, and that wasn't looked at as cheating at all. I mean, this reticle is a white reticle, or reticule, as it says on the I and I. But it's supposed to be red by default, uh, but it's kind of hard to see. So I changed it to white. But yeah, I mean... Pretty similar spawns, but uh, at least for three of the spawns. I mean, obviously, the spawn that's outside on Island Day 1 is the most unique of the scenarios here. But Ave Maria is just a classic tune for this close quarters map, and I really love it. So, uh, Yeah, that's Island Day 2, the better, better of the two. I'm not going to go through all the maps. Uh... The round is a draw. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. I'm very glad that I can scale up my resolution and stuff like that. Like, a lot of these games would probably freak out. I'm also glad that this is on Steam and works on Windows 7. Like, that's quite impressive. The round is a draw. And there's servers, like Ubisoft allows you to host servers on on their shit still which is kind of nice because this was a game spy thing streets this is a multiplayer only map uh, a lot of people know rainbow six for the single player and this would not be in the single player campaign or terrorist hunt was pretty much all we did for single player because it was pretty challenging believe it or not you know you get like 30 40 terrorists and they're on the hot expert difficulty it's pretty hard so streets uh, opposing buildings and then there's like this runway underground and uh, there's some a couple buildings out in the open there's like a big crossfire section going on let's just see what we got here we don't have our scope built in so it's gonna be kinda shitty uh, kinda multiple spawns on both red and blue red and blue red and green excuse me why wasn't it red and blue why didn't they do that um you can change your HUD color by the way so you can make this yellow or black or whatever so some people would spawn down here and some people would spawn up here for both sides because there's a building right across and uh, as you could tell it was not a good look to be out in the center uh, the, the sheer number of windows and doorways that people could be peeking out of was it was serious but you did you know have some people that boldly ran across sometimes and it works you know uh, so if you have a sniper up here Pretty much no one used snipers because they kind of sucked, other than one map, which uh, maybe we'll get to later. Not this map, though. 
Uh, because you could snipe with a assault rifle. I mean, it, it's fine, you know? Especially a single shot. I think single shot really drastically increases your accuracy. Even though I don't think there's any, like, proof. I'm pretty sure it does. Like, it's amazing. So you can peek out one of those two windows. Or you can peek out here and get a scope out of that doorway. Or out here and get a scope of several openings in this building. So... You have the main two buildings, which stand across from one another. And you have these side buildings, which have a second floor with like a little plank to take you across. Or in here, there's no plank. It's just like a little balcony area up here. There's even like a little prone spot right there where you can go prone. There's no jump in these games, by the way, in case you're wondering. This game really... Oh, you can crawl as well. I believe you can just crawl through these areas. Yeah. So that's kind of a... You can come out the door really quickly and get away with it, which you don't want to do that usually, but sometimes you can make it out here and crawl through, and that's how you end up with people in these buildings, which uh, kind of fuck you up from a different angle. You're not expecting someone over here to get you there. Look at that little dude. Uh, I should also note that you can break your leg from this height, but you can also do this, so that was kind of a secret. That's a secret to me anyways. <laughs> this is a really dark corner. My gamma's up a little bit, so I can kind of see it. 1.1. I think I did all the way like 1.25 gamma playing this game. A lot of people did that. They turned off shadows because their PCs wouldn't handle it. Also, they made low detail smoke grenade and bodies disappear. Uh, you know, there were a lot of like frame saving strats and stuff like that. Raise your cache size. So this is the center bunker, which leads to the basement, uh, which we'll get into. Let's go back to the green side. I'm not sure which side is the side that I'm is a draw. used to starting from. So let's just uh, change our weapon to a uh, M4, which was another popular scoped weapon. You had to put the manual scope on. So here we are. Um... This is, it's kind of based on where you spawn, right? If you spawn by the door, you're peeking out. If you spawn upstairs, you're peeking out the windows. Spawn by this hole, you're jumping down a hole, right? So you jump down, you land on these boxes. And then uh, both red and green team have this, this same configuration. And then you have this conjoined hallway. A uh, couple places to hide. Someone might already be over there, depending on how fast or slow you are. That's why usually only the close spawn goes down there. It's kind of like a responsibility, like I spawned near the hole, that means I gotta go down the hole, right? You could come up here to kind of throw people for a loop, but you'll you might get capped. There's a good chance. You gotta watch your dome. Typically you go down here, <clears throat> and then here's yet another uh staircase. So the box room. Uh it's an equal distance, I believe, from the other hallway, which is the red hallway. Oh no yes? No. Red is different. Okay, red is clearly different. So green. Yeah, okay, so the red team drops on a box, comes down here. Red team can get into the box room uh, quicker, for sure. And, of course, they have their own stairwell to come up here and get their head shot off. I believe, uh, yeah, there's no three-round burst for this gun. This was a little bit too intimidating sound-wise. I don't like it. So here's this little center area, which leads to this center bunker on the outside. And that's pretty much streets. A lot of fucking windows to get capped from. And a lot of rushing downstairs, pretty much, or camping in windows. Uh, typically, you didn't make it to the other side. Like, if you start on red, you didn't make it to green. Just running outside, you'd... Unless it was like a battle, like, you know, five minutes of crouching behind shit and running to the next area, and, you know, and adding like suppressive fire or maybe even like distraction fire. You know, go up here. This is the other mid building here uh, that we didn't go up, but there's like a plank. There's also a bunker up there which you can get to by a ladder, but climbing a ladder is suicide out in the open, and this will injure you, right? Yeah, see that height, which is pretty high. I mean, it's high for a human. You'd probably injure yourself. 
especially with all that gear. Uh, so, realism. I really like the whole dragging the leg thing. It was cool, man. It made you feel, like, helpless, but also a badass when you gunned down, like, three people on a team that were after you. It created, like, really awesome scenarios. Doesn't seem to be any doors on this map, so I have these breach charges for no reason. Uh, but, yep. The round is a draw. That's streets. Streets is cool. Uh, let's just switch to the red team, see if there's anything of note. Yeah, it's the same spawns pretty much. See, like, I'm close to the hole. I could also go to the door. I think this is one of the better door spawns. So, yeah. Depending on how many players you have, you know, you'd want to do certain things. And, of course, we're all in Ventrilo. TeamSpeak was sort of popular, but it was the worst client, for sure. So, cool people use the Ventrilo servers, so... Uh, like, the funny thing is, you talk to anybody that played these games back then, they all have, like, a huge... They all have their like own unique clan stories and stuff. Like, everybody was part of a clan. You know, you were nobody if you weren't part of a clan. Uh, sometimes you would go smurfing, which is what I routinely did uh, without clan tags. Uh, but that was frowned upon. Like, if you were a representative of a clan, you were supposed to always be wearing your tag. But that wasn't me. Like, I didn't give a fuck about your clan, just because I'm a part of it, you know? So I would just routinely not have the tag on. Uh, and be using different names and impressing people, you know, and then they'd be like, man, you need to join our clan. And then I'd be like, name change to FNO. And they'd be like, oh, he's FNO, you know. You could go like, name change, but. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> name change, but. <laughs> uh, and those characters for the Velius that I have there. I used to know every alt code for them, like, uh, it's a box, uh, yeah, I'm not remembering it right now, but alt 167, that's the S, uh, that's a copyright symbol, it's an A, whatever, I don't remember it. Uh, yeah, but let's just uh, go to Lordo. No one knows me by that in my... Oh, that's right. You have to wait like a minute or two. So right now I'm just going to stay change butt, which is it's just great, great name. But yeah, you'd be like name, and you know, you'd put in your tag. Or whatever. Vietnam operatives in that case. Uh, before then it was... Uh, Damn, I don't remember. Uh, S3, which was my own clan. And before that, I was sort of like unofficial member of Special Forces Unit, SFU. After Vietnam Operatives, uh, there was a team called Dirt Nap Squad, DNS, which uh, what took me to the end of my Raven Shield days. DNS is still around. They play like EVE Online or something. It's, it's kind of funny. Shoutouts to the old clan mates. Uh, we were kind of like young teenagers assholes but like you know like members of the military are assholes but they're still doing like good deeds so we were kind of like that but minus the good deeds you know so we were just like playing a video game and being assholes but like we were we were not actually assholes you know it was just a different time full of like racist sexist remarks that you didn't even realize you know you were so culturally insensitive as uh, as a kid, you know, and uh, you know, I would hate to see some of the chat logs and the, like the ignorant remarks I've made. Uh, but yet we had friends from all walks of life in our clan stuff, and it, it's it's kind of weird. Like the age barrier wasn't there, so I'm 14 or whatever, and the leader of my clan is like 33, and it, it's just weird. But you were like equals, you, you know, you're just talking to them like your friends, but not in real life would a 14 year old ever talk to some 33 year old guy. But it was cool. It was fine, you know, like... So in a sense, it, it helped me grow up in that sense. Like, all the, the clan culture of FPS games back then. There was respect, certainly. Uh, so shout-outs to, like, let's see. SFU. Um, 
I was never a part of that clan, but I was spiritually a part of it because I could never join it because the leader was never online. He would like appeared every six months, like he came out of retirement or something. So like the fake leaders were like Pirate, which was this 14 year old kid and Spork. And they were like goofy individuals. And I befriended them and I met other kids like Blizzard and <clears throat> Rosin and shout outs to them. They were all older than me other than like Pirate. Uh, but, you know, the people that didn't join SFU because of, like, weird conflicts, uh, you know, like, the leader's never online. What was his name? I forget. Never even met him. Uh, but, yeah, the people that couldn't join that, I made a clan called S3, which was Stealth, Silence, Suppression. And I made a website for that. Oh, we were also part of Bad Clan, which was the Fallout BAD, which, that's pretty bad tag. Uh, Bad Clan was the fallout of the both SFU and S3. Like, we came together, the remaining members, and of course some of my clan members, Rosin and uh, these Canadian twins, they left S3 when I was just AWOL for a while. They formed LXG, which is a very original name, League of Extraordinary Gamers, you know. <laughs> Probably the worst tag of all time, but they were cool people. Uh, so this is prison, another multiplayer-only map. Let's get into it. I'm sorry, I, I I ran off on a tangent because I just fucking yeah. So let's let's keep going. Let's see, bad clan. There was priest, uh, which was a former SFU guy. AKs were not very good, by the way. They're kind of like whatever. Uh, <clears throat> priest, yeah, me and priest and uh, somebody else were kind of like the heads of bad clan. Uh, Galil, let's do the L8, right? L8. Got breach in charge. Hopefully there's an actual door. I think there is. Uh, then you had Blizzard, which was a member of multiple clans, but eventually was just like a loner, but he was so good that he just played with all these clans, and we were friends with him. He was just so good that he knew he was worth more than the clans themselves, so he never would join them. Uh, Shout-outs to Blizzard. Uh, Shout-outs to Lunchbox. He's from DNS. Uh, Vietnam Operatives had Fist. SOS. Uh, Vamp. Let's see. Man. Yeah, L8 was like an uh, inferior version of the G3. But it's still pretty good. These are metal doors. So you can't shoot through them. Or blow... Well, you might be able to blow them up. Let's actually see. Don't kill me. Yeah, okay. You blow them up. Cool. And that was fun to set a breaching charge. And then as soon as you see the door squeak open or open at all, you just blow it up. Uh, deagles could not pop through them, I don't think. Nah. Okay. I wonder if I equipped... Um, I wonder if I equipped different bullets if I could go through this metal door. I don't think I ever... Did research into that. <clears throat> okay, so let's suicide because I don't even remember where I spawned. The round is a draw. <laughs> and yeah, let's keep it going. Galil was pretty crap. Uh, it was like tons of recoil on this gun. Tons of recoil. Good flashes. Yeah, flashes were pretty fucking good. They were pretty good. Because, you know, you'd run away thinking it's a frag, and then you're, you know, you still get blinded. Yeah, the Galil was a good single shot gun, but not a good full auto. So, green starts here. Um, maybe some of you watching this are Xbox veterans. In this case, I apologize for, like, shitting on your game. I mean, if it's your game, it's cool. But I just think that that was sort of the ruination of Rainbow Six was when that game came out. Um, it it had these modes that didn't have, like, round-based... It still had the round-based stuff, but that wasn't the main mode. You know, and that was sort of, like, the beginning of, like, the death of round-based shooters. Of, like, you rush to a point, you control that point, and you know the maps really well. Whereas if you just respawn infinitely... 
uh, you don't know the maps that well and you could just like you spawn in different spots every time and you're just running and shooting and it it, it encourages no thought you know I know counter strikes still around but I don't like the gun game the whole like paying for shit I, I just like to have what I want and not pick things up or you know anything like that so big prison yard here windows on both sides uh, the green the green uh, can come out here and uh, watch this hallway or peek out this way and red can come from over there so you've got to be careful of that I'm trying to think of what green did this is kind of an awkward map it's good it's just awkward I don't night vision some hiding spots some upstairs over here there's a hole for no reason because you know why not have a hole there and yep there you go you can camp up here find these bars I turn the night vision off as I go into the darkness again um, let's see Ah uh, yes, there is the ladder of of doom. If you manage to make it up here, this is a really good spot uh, to snipe people from. Of course, green team has the supreme advantage of being able to just come from their spawn up here. Uh, whereas if you do it from out here, which red team would typically do, pretty risky. But you get to that point of where like, oh yeah, and ladder slides by the way. You just hold down and you slide. But you get to that point. Uh, where you're so scared to go out in an open area that everyone forgets about it, and in those cases you can uh, get caught, you know. The round is a draw. So I think I would typically go this way on green team, which uh... yeah, I typically go that way. Let's see what's in here really quick. Okay, Just the hallway that leads to the basement, which is a whole other part of this prison. Uh, there's like the a good hallway to camp. Uh, yeah, the basement was weird. I don't think. Oh, this is not the basement. There is a basement, though, isn't there? This is just the bottom of the prison yard. Well, where's the basement then? Yes, yeah, so here's the, another entrance to this hallway. There's definitely a basement, I swear. Uh, but, anyways, the green side. I would typically be rushing towards this. Some people would go here and uh, wait here for this door. Some people would go in here and wait this door. You know, kind of like wait behind this cafeteria stuff. Some people would be more direct uh, because this is the basement itself, right? So uh, down in the basement, I forget where this connects exactly. But this was the like the last hope run away and hope you're not caught kind of thing get to jump on somebody yeah, as you can see it's a big scuffle here uh, the basement typically red rushes the basement but before we get to the red we're gonna see the other side I think this might also be closer to green it's a big staircase yeah yeah, okay, so the green spawns right here. So if green wants to rush basement, they go here. Whereas the other basement entrance is more of a defensive, like, I'm going to wait for red there. So we'd rush here, uh, but of course red has a staircase right by their spawn, which is in the center of the basement, which I think is better overall. Uh, you know, they don't have either hallway, but they have the choice at the offset to go either way it's kind of a give and take I guess because they would spawn here right or in here one or the other spawn here or here or here in this area is where they're spawning so you could just run right up and get a free pot shot if someone manages to walk by there um, or run in here rush the basement there's also an 
a laddery area? If you go in here, you might be able to... Yeah. I'm not going to make it. There's no time left, but... There's a window up here. You can... You can get some vantage points. A big balcony of death. Another ladder that you probably don't want to go up. But this is a really good uh, vantage point, especially for these windows. You see, you can see a lot of different entrances from this one position. Switch to red. Just to see where they spawn. I'm not actually sure. Okay, they spawn right here. I imagine they spawn closer to the stairs. Uh, or closer to here. That gives you an idea of where you're going to go. Spawns on top. You could run there, but that seems unsafe. I think most people would go down here or perch up around here. Another good spot. Uh, at this point, you're pretty safe. You're not by anybody. You could run up the back here, which leads to uh, the balcony. So back to the green side. You could rush this door down here. Or you could run up the stairs and rush this side and meet Red. Usually right here they'd be just turning the corner as you're opening the door. So, yeah, that's a fun spot. Prison's a little dark. Not a fan of, like, a lot of shady areas, but it was a good map. Made it work. Here's the hallway, the long hallway of death. And here's the entrance. So, you know, you could run down these stairs and here... But keep in mind, Green's probably going to get here first. Uh, once again, they'll probably be here by the time you're opening the door. It was all very strict time uh, allotments that you had based on where you spawned, where you would run. So, And there's all this hiding stuff in the cells you can do and in the basement. You know, that's prison. The round is a draw. That is prison. Man. I fucking love this game. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. I might start up another server with like some of the shittier maps. After I'm done with the ones that are good. Presidio I don't actually like it, but you know, I mean a lot of people played it, so I'll give it my best. This is once again another TMP area. Jack and hollow points. It always changes your bullets. You know? I forgot I had flashes as well. So, green team. They start in this weird spot. Um, so, if you move over here, there's a balcony right up there, and you can camp it since you're the closer. Actually, they might be just as close. Either way, I remember it being kind of dangerous if you wanted to get to this door, even just off the spawn, you run here, you get capped immediately from there. It It's kind of crazy. A um, lot of doors, multiple entrances to the same room, that sort of thing. Uh, but this was a camping spot. This was a heat, heat zone, I don't know what you call them. So you have a guy over here. And you have a guy behind the stairs just as a backup. And let's explore more of the bottom, because that's green team. Green team's all bottom. And green team had free reign of the the place, because upstairs it's kind of small. You're, you're stuck up there. And I think it ends up being the bottom, which actually applies better pressure to the stairwells. So this is a place of nothing. Please open. But, yeah, so... If you wanted to uh, get behind here, you have to take a risk of even passing by the stairway. So I think what people did was just do this. Yeah, and that worked, right? And then they, they came in this way. And then they have a good view of that. So there's a guy looking down here, a guy looking up this way. Lots of crossfire. A lot of team kills by accident and on purpose as well. Yep, and then you can get various angles on that, but I like the green side because there's just way more to do uh, for green. Uh, they have this whole perimeter around the outside. 
many rooms downstairs, whereas the upstairs, is, I don't think you can actually go there. That's not a place you can go. Uh, the upstairs has everything. So back to the green spawn. We spawn right here. And uh, let's see what's back here. Just an empty room, right? Yeah. About here. Yep. Empty room. Empty room. Empty room. Empty room. Outside. So you could just turn around and book it outside. Uh, but typically there'd be people that rush this way, tried to get past this or camped it to that staircase. Camp it behind or in front of the staircase. Or you went this way, uh, which is the green staircase, which they would get here slightly faster. And once again, I feel like it's better for green, this staircase. Um, as you see, not a lot going on here for red. They start up here. The round is a draw. They're stuck up here. We'll go into that in the next round. Uh, yeah, but we'll we'll go into that right now. You can also throw a flash grenade. So as you see, red is really close. They're both really flash close grenade. to this. Oh. And you can see I could do something like that. And uh, at least they're not spawning like right here, because that would be really unfair. Uh, but yeah, I mean they could just run over here and peek. Flashbang out. As you, see, yeah, I love it. I love that image. It's so good. It's the best. One of the best flashbang uh, effects. Usually it just goes white, right? But this, it's like... Flashbang, out. It's like, nah, man. Look at that. Ooh, so godlike. And then you just go, ah! This was also a game where when you reloaded, uh, it keeps the magazine in the rotation. So if you reload through all of them, you eventually get back to the one with the same amount of bullets. Or do you? What? Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so... Yeah. Maybe it always goes back to the one with the most. Okay, so if I drain this down to like... 7. It's gonna switch to the one with 41. If I drain that down to 27... It's gonna switch to the one at 34. And it'll stay at the 34. Okay, that's a really smart system. But yeah, the clips don't disappear. You don't reload. It's not like based on a total bullet count. It is based on actual clips, like it should be. Uh, but yeah, that's red team. They spawn in there. And they can run here and try and peek. Or peek all the way out, which usually gets you killed doing this. I think red team has a disadvantage. Uh, but they do have an advantage on this stairwell. And like I said, everything hits the fan. Once somebody decides to go up or down the stairs, you know, once there's a push, uh, everything changes, and like that's the deciding moment of most of these maps. Uh, there's a couple that that's not the case, but most of the maps are like that. That's Presidio in a nutshell. Uh, that's the round is a draw. Hmm. <laughs> you can make this widescreen, but it just kind of stretches it. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes your view wider, but it definitely stretched the HUD and the gun model, so we're just sticking with uh, the full screen. So Presidio, yeah, like I feel red team's at a disadvantage. I'm pretty sure most people felt this way. The round is a draw. Which is why uh, not a lot of people liked it. But it was played a lot. It was one of those things that was just played. You know, like isolation in Halo 3. Everyone hated that map, and yet it always came up in rotation. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. Let's see what else I have on this. Import export. Ah, yes. Kind of a large map, but very fun. Very fun map. Uh, let's go back to the trustworthy Og. The Hodge. Alright. Green team. They start out by this wooden staircase. 
Um, so at the offset, you have this these little alleys, these nooks and crannies you can hide in. Worth pointing them out, but no one ever did that shit. There's also one over there as well. So you have two options. Go in the door or go up the stairs. If you choose to go up the stairs, uh, there's a little cubbyhole room in there. So you go up here. This is safe. It's like your base of operations as a green team. You can run into this room and start capping fools. Uh, and this is my favorite. There's a flaming barrel there. And we've already seen the range on that flaming barrel. It's pretty intense. Shut that TV up as I usually do. Computer. Fire hydrant. This is not working. There you go. That's kind of just like an impromptu smoke grenade built into the environment. It doesn't work as well, though. Uh, yeah, but I would usually go up in this window, try and get a pot shot off. Conversely, uh, if red team makes it this far, they usually come up here, peek in the windows, looking for anyone that's waiting at the spawn. But green team would typically rush here. There might be some balcony shit going on over here. I don't know if I ever go this way at all. Yeah, this overlooks the green spawn. Uh, and this looks over overlooks a street that's close to red spawn. Comes into here as well. This is interesting. I don't think I ever went this way. Okay, so this takes you... Okay, that just takes you right there. So that's kind of like whatever. That's a whatever door. I'm going to say that. It's a whatever door. Alright. So you got two doors here, right? One goes to the dark room, of course. Of course, the dark room. That was uh, the choke point here. Another room of, like, stuff that no one ever actually went to. There's, I think, Red Spawn might be around here. Not sure. But the dark room is where everything happened. Uh, so green team would... You'd be lulled into thinking it's, like, clear, like no one went this way, and then you just get capped. Uh, through a doorway or whatever they just you know you don't even have to know that someone's coming you just have to know the times around which they come and you know there could be someone on the other side of this door that's just kind of like you know shooting where they know you'll be about in that amount of time uh, this might be another balcony thing yeah it's a similar balcony but for red spawn not sure if it's actually red spawn but Let's open these doors up. All right, you have this room here. There's no quick jump down. I wonder if you actually die if you jump down. Nope, you just gimp. The round is a draw. So your emergency jump down. Uh, if you're getting hunted, you know you just jump down and get gimped. Because the ladder is super vulnerable. You'd rather do that than uh, climb down it. Let's go to red team. Okay. Here we are. Now, red team. I told you about that spot where I'm popping out the window. Well, here it is, right? And it's kind of deadly. Cause you, I mean, you really can't do the same for red because you don't blow up. So, you, hopefully you have someone below the sub as you approach it. If you're going to take this route. And it's a similar thing. Though... Bottom probably has the advantage again, right? Like, people in windows are kind of, like, extra visible. You see a head pop out, and it's just like, hmm, right? Whereas the guy upstairs on the green team has to look at this entire environment. The red guy only has to look at that small little rectangle, you know? So I think there's an advantage there, for sure. There's another barrel over here as well. I gimped myself on it. Wow. That's, like... Those barrels aren't joking around. There's another hiding spot over here, over there. Let's go investigate our limping self. Uh, so, if you do manage to make it in this way, you can climb up here, and you can go prone up here. There's not much you can do up here, but you can go prone, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do some pretty sneaky stuff. You know. 
Could also jump down and hopefully not die. Nope. Or die. That is uh, the height limit, I guess. Let's, let's do that again. Let's do red again. A lot more interesting stuff happening on red. So, you spawn by this door. And uh, this is your little base of operations. Though no one actually goes this way. Uh, you go this way if you're trying to hide. Usually people rush that door. But let's first go up. You can't go up this way, of course. And it leads to this bunk area. And that leads to that same uh, jump down, emergency jump down area. See, so in the dark rooms right here. But other than that, uh, you can camp this hallway. You can actually have someone that's running through, open all these doors, and then, like, you know, divert, go this way, and watch over this room, or even go down the ladder. And then you have all these doors open. So, for instance, someone could open this door up and then jump down. And then you have, like, this gigantic hallway of sniping. So this is the door people would usually rush. Uh, as you see, here's the spawn right over here. There's the hallway, the big long hall. And this leads outside, which I think has that balcony overlook. Okay, so this was not the red spawn. I was wrong about that. But there is some shit going on out this way. More hiding spots back there, I'm sure. And there's the balcony that's closer to green. Green is on the other side of that wall. But you pretty much only come out here if you're going to look in the window. Here. Or open this door up. Or peek through the door. Uh, because this is the green's other method of insertion. Pretty much is this hallway. This hallway... And this hallway as well. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe green actually is better off. Now that I think about it, green is actually better off. Yeah, that's... Because this is green spawn. So lower green spawn. There's a lot of options. You got this where you can go there. Did that left hall or to the window. Oh, wow, wait. No, there's yet another room. Wow, this is crazy. You know, and then peek out. Or you can just enter right through there. And just come out here and do this shit. You can have a guy on top and bottom. You can have a guy run out this way as well. The round Try to, to intercept someone that's coming down these stairs and wrapping around. Just a lot you can do with green team, I feel. So yeah, green, pretty fucking solid. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's just do that. We're gonna run. Yeah, you can cap someone. Someone might be coming around that way. Or you might be able to get the jump on them. If someone is bugging them up in the window, you get the jump on them. You might be able to frag them. You might be able to bank frag to blow up that fucking barrel. Hmm. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm sure there's positive there's a way to do it. Oh, that seemed pretty good. Didn't it blow up right here? It blew up right there. How close does a frag have to be? Now I'm, now I'm interested to figure this out. Um... Let's peek. Let's try and get this. Frag out. That's about as high as I can get it. Okay, that missed the mark. That's too high. Well, now I, I gotta. The round is a draw. Golly, no. <laughs> now I'm thinking about tactics. Let's do this. I got one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. This opportunity comes 
five rounds in a lifetime. All right. Oh, I should have equipped more frags. I think green, yeah, green holds the uh, key to the city here. So there's one of blue up right here, and one of blue up right there, and there wasn't that much differential in my aiming. Unless you could bank it off the side of that. I think this wooden shit stops it yeah, from blowing up if it's beside it. Let me see what happens here. Frag out. Yeah. Hmm. Bonk. There was like hours and days of practice of just banking grenades for like clan stuff, you know. You somehow wanted to hit it off this this door and bounce down. I think you can actually do that. Maybe if I got closer. I guess I could just throw it like that and see what happens. Frag out. Oh that's no, that's too low. Frag out. Got him. But that requires me to go around the corner. Aim here. Which... You'd have to be able to aim from here and visualize where that metal thing is. Whatever. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. Cool map. It's a cool map. I really wish I would have put warehouse on this uh, cycle. Back to garage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to server options here. We're going to add uh, alright, let's, let's add some other stuff. Training was one of them as well. Um, I can do training. Alpine Village, God, meatpacking is terrible. Mountain Highway is terrible. Oil refinery is terrible. Parade is okay. Airport 1 and 2. Where's warehouse? There it is. Okay. Training. Warehouse. Uh, peaks. Alpine Village. Banking. I really don't want to do... Meat packing, it's that bad. It's clearly the, the worst. Uh, yeah, it's clearly the worst. Let's see. Ghost camera, Punk Buster. I didn't install Punk Buster, guys. Sorry, I'm cheating. Restarting server. Training. Uh, this is where you did all the training. There's like a training option on the main thing, but this is what we call Frag City. Um, as you can probably guess why one of the few maps that allows just chucking a thousand frags uh, not for green necessarily but red is just a frag chucker but frag you do something like that frag out. not not with that much height but uh, yeah see green just doesn't have the right frag out. Frag out. <laughs> Frag out. Frag out. Yeah. All right. So green, they spawn back here, which is uh, the worst spawn in my opinion. But they have a view to this window where they can sort of camp this window which is right where red spawns they just run through this building some of the time they could peek there or right here or right here put a little spot up there or out here even get a look at the doorway or a different window see you could... different uh, vantage points based on the window so that's pretty much green <laughs> Uh, 
But yeah, you could run back here, and no one's going to get you in time. Green has the advantage to getting into... Uh... Well, no, I guess this building's fair, actually. You can both end up in this building without being seen and then run into each other. There's an upstairs. Red coming that back entrance there. Uh, if you can get up here, you can pretty much ravage the red spawn point. And there's plenty of windows. It's just like so many trajectories that you're pretty much never safe on training. It's a fun map, though, for sure. Uh, it's a fun map. So, this is the other building that you could go to as green. It's interesting I said red has the advantage when green has access to all the buildings. Uh, I guess they all do, right? But, like... It seems like green has to travel much further to get to this building. So this is more of a red building. This left one here. Yeah, because to get in here, you have to run around the front, and that's kind of uh, scary. You can do that. You can get away with it. And if you're up here, pat, 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 pat. More vantage points. Not much else to say about this. Let's go to red side. The round is a draw. Or, okay. Yeah, but uh, training's fun. Usually ends with a bang. So here's red. Spawn on the side of this building. They have clear shot to that building. Uh, they have to run across this field to get to this building, so that's a little risky because green can get into position really quickly over there through that window. I usually take this approach and I peek, you know, and then I got this window and I go pat, pat with single shot. Not with reloading, though. Just a single shot. See? Uh, yeah, that's the best peeking spot. There's another peeking spot where you can get shot at another window, the upstairs, the doorway, depending on how far you want to come out. And you can come over here as well. And you have viewed this building. This is actually a pretty balanced map, I'd say. In uh, terms of time it takes to get to any one place, the other team can get to other said place in the same amount of time to uh, counter your efforts. And you can also crouch over here and do this stuff which was another option for me, or just run straight up. But this is the cool part. It's, it's, it's just a frag grenade. Frag out. Frag yeah, there's out. a lot of fragging you can do. Frag out. Yeah, see, I think the red has a distinct advantage. You see that blew up around head level. Um... I think the red has a distinct frag advantage, which is probably why they are the better of the two. And then you could bank it in a window. Frag out. If you're better than me, you could bank it in a window. Frag out. If you're better than me, you can bank it in a window. Frag out. If you're better than me, you can bank it in a window. The round but that's training. <laughs> training's cool. I forgot that was even a map. <laughs> Like, I looked at training like, oh, that's just some training bullshit. Um, we're not training. No training wheels here. Real men. But no, training is, is totally legit map. Much better than Presidio. Which is what I would con I'd compare this to Presidio. In terms of, like, pacing. The round is a draw. But with more frags. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. Alright. On to warehouse. So this... This is a pretty crazy map. Uh, green team starts in this weird area here. Open the door up and you have access to this catwalk. The upper catwalk. And another door. This is kind of a hot room. Or, 
I guess this catwalk is the hot room. Uh, because of the green, you never really wanted to venture this far. Because the, at this point, you're very close to red spawn. Uh, red spawn, which is down here. But uh, I'm not actually sure if they're like, maybe they're over here. I'm not sure. It, it's definitely in this area. This is red spawn. So let's see. I don't remember much else about green. I think red was the preferred. Uh, yeah, but you spawn here. You can run out here. Go down the stairs. Come in here. I don't know what this is accomplishing. Oh yeah, and you can could, you could camp down here. Because that's red spawn. That's red spawn. It's like three levels or whatever. Over here, you have uh, a completely dark room. That's really dark. Wow. Leads to ah okay here's our spawn right okay green spawn you would run down these stairs to get into this room quickly and then you could just uh, cap some fools and uh, this is the other catwalk the lower catwalk which red would typically reach first whereas green reaches that one first uh, but they connect the two spawns and that's where all the shit happens here and here here and here if someone gets pushes forward uh, they have and on the red side they have to worry about this little staircase and green team will typically camp down here as well as up here uh, so rather than open the door someone might actually first go back here and camp and then there's also access to another window Red team can come out the bottom there, and obviously, like I said, there's that. So this is like a sort of no man's room, uh, but people come back here occasionally. Pe I say people. No one plays the game anymore, but they did. It was pretty tight. This is the place that no one goes, but it does wrap all the way around, as you'll see. Uh, So let's go around this back side here. This is uh, just a... Yeah, that leads to that open area downstairs. Where the green uh, balcony overlooks it, sort of. I don't know what you call that type of room. This is a scary place. You don't go back here. The round is a draw. Unless you're planning some coup. And that's the red spawn right there, that... That low uh, door. So let's go to red team. Alright, so, yeah, you spawn on this level. As I thought. So. This is a common approach, is to go down here. There's that uh, door I talked about. And we know this door. Sup, sup, sup. I think green has advantage in this sort of area. Uh, I think you're at a big disadvantage coming out this door. But if you do, you can make it over here and make it around the same side that you just saw here. Seems like explosions are completely blocked if you're behind any geometry. And then you make it in here and you can come uh, uproot their way of life through the back door. Literally. Uh, but that doesn't happen too often. So I don't think green is usually looking at this door. If they were, this guy is a dead duck. At the base level, you have, of course, that place, which I think, once again, it's kind of suicide. Uh, so red is the more likely to go this way and do the sneaky maneuvers. And there's also this door, which leads to the same area, just from a different perspective. But you get views of the balcony and these windows, which I think is a little bit of a better spot for red. So, yeah, red would usually perform some sort of coup over that way. Some coup de grace. There's also this door, which is behind the box, right? Yeah. And this is a better one because you're under the catwalk directly. View of all the windows. Similar to that one, but maybe even better. Alright, let's see. What? 
What do you want? Or what? The garage. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's take it out of the garage. I'm going to go get the breakfast present. Okay. I'm only going to give her cash. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Sorry about that. I just picked up a game pad. Wow, that's, that's how... Uh... Anyways... The main point is this hallway. This is the main crazy hallway. It's a metal door. You can't shoot through it. Uh, usually the guy that opens the door dies on either side, pretty much. It's a, this is a scary hallway right there. That's a, but that's where a lot of energy is focused. And the red team can go over this way and either camp here uh, or sometimes get into this room. But as you see in green, it's pretty close to that door. The so, round is a draw. Yeah, there you go. That's a uh, warehouse. It's a cool map. I like warehouse. The round is a draw. Hmm. <laughs> the round is a draw. The round is a draw. So we'd have this thing where we'd say duct tape before the round starts. Just like in the chat channel, which I think is like you. Oh, not you. Well, yeah, it could be you. Duct tape. Not even duct tape. Just duct tape. It would actually just be like, you know, in chat itself. And then you would crouch down, and anyone who wasn't crouching uh, when the round would start, you just shot them, right? So uh, you shot at head level. And uh, yeah, that's the kind. That's what you did. You know, that was griefing. That's what you did. Uh, it was fun. Fun times. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. The match is a draw. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. I do the draw. Ah, uh, yes. So, Peaks. Not a very popular map, but, you know, I had a lot of fun on it, to be honest. And the reason I had a lot of fun on it was shotguns. So, this obviously was one of the few maps that people actually use sniper rifles on. Uh, but I found out that you could just snipe with a shotgun. You just put a scope on it and you, you change it to slugs, which I guess is like a more concentrated shotgun shell. One starts up top, and one starts on bottom. Green's on the bottom, which I think is the worst of the two. Uh, but as you see, it's very snowy and misty and stuff. How's that shell making noise? This is like snow. So, green starts by like this barn. I don't think you can go in there, but you can go in this. You can open up the shutters and whatever. And uh, you go in here, you can take a poop. You know, that's your thing, you want to take a poop. Not a lot going on, it is just a snowfield. Uh, but let's explore the rest of Green's territory. Which, uh, depending on where you spawn, you kind of rush this way as Green. And you try to get over here, pretty much. So you someone looking through the trees upward at that little fence area. Prone is even better. You know, prone you move very slow and it's like very methodical. You know, right there as well. People are kind of coming out of the mist. The uh, visibility is a little low. There's a building over here. I don't think you can go in it. Pretty sure you can't. Yeah. But basically, red would come over the ridge here and over that way. Uh, but green had a really serious advantage over there. Red would usually come down this way. Uh, but red had the advantage of having this big house. They could just go hide in. And uh, another benefit to using shotguns was that, you know, they're still pretty good in close quarters, even with a slug. And they could hide here. 
We could hide in here. That's right, you have to, sorry, you have to hold the reload button. Uh, wow, that's, you can't even, maybe you need a buckshot to blow a hole in that door that quickly. I don't know. You think that would blow a hole in it though, right? But you can hide in one of these mini rooms. It's red. And of course you have the higher ground, which in this case, I think is a benefit. You can hide it all up here. I think they start... I don't actually know where they start. Do they start here or on this side of the bridge? Right, but green's down there. And you can hide behind this car. They don't explode, so it's no big deal. But you can see the, the visibility. Not too great. And for whatever reason, I think the green gets uh, the shots on you first when you're taking... Yeah, see, so you have to get into an interesting position... Uh, the round is a draw. What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh. Let's switch to red team. Let's get a real sniper. Which, uh, best snipers were probably, other than Vin, uh, Dragunov was probably favored, and maybe the WA-2000 as well. As you can see, more range than the WA-2000. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much... Snake! It's a PSG-1. Uh, yeah, not the M8. The 50 cal is no good. Uh, but, yeah, so I think the Dragoon off is probably... Uh, the best. Get to switch to Jack and Hollow Point as well, which is nice. Here we are in red. Oh, wow, we just... Red just starts in the house. Okay, I didn't... Yeah, red is clearly... Uh, in the advantage. Get your thermal. Thermal's really important. Yeah. It's not bolt action. So I think it was the... Uh, much more handy. It's red. I would like to go over this ridge a lot. You can kind of barely see their hideout. Oh my god, I'm stuck on the... Geometry, okay. Or you can kind of sneak in over here. And that's pretty much my domain. I didn't really... Uh, I didn't really do much else. This is a pretty scary map. But yeah, when you're running around with shotguns and slugs, it's pretty fun. So, not too bad. Definitely one of the least played maps, though. Uh, that's okay, though. The round is a draw. What is next? The round is a draw. Oh. Next map. Next map map. Maybe it's a numbered system here. Hold on. Alpine Village. I'm not going to bother with it now because uh, I don't want to mess with the rotation. The round, the round is a draw. Connect to the draw. One point six, that's as far as they got, huh? So Alpine Village, I didn't really like it, but there was some glitching that went on here. It was a pretty fun glitch spot. Let's do an LMG, huh? Uh M sixty was for real. Uh RPD twenty three E I believe is what I used. Can't really equip anything extra with it. Which is interesting. Let's get our M60 out. Let's go. So, the light machine guns were good for posting up. 
in front of doors like prone and, and lighting it up. You know, it was actually a useful suppression tool. You, know, you didn't just run around and do shit like this all the time. The reload was pretty long. You know, still kind of short for an actual light machine gun, but I don't remember much about Alpine in terms of spawns, so I'm just going to look at it. Scratch my head. Okay, so we spawned here-ish. There's a crossfire area over here. I believe red spawns through here over this way. Yeah, like way over here. Right there. They can go around the back through some buildings and end up in one of those doors I was shooting at. Uh, like over here? Or they can go around the back and end up here. As well, yeah, so. Come from the back. It's weird how I remember all the red spawns, it seems like. Um. Red spawns for life, man. And they went down to that door. They can open up a shutter. They go up top. Yeah. Yeah. I remember red spawns a lot. Response for life. Whoop whoop. Open. You could do the mouse wheel thing with this as well. And that's a pretty good vantage point, I think. The green was pretty good in this map, if I recall. Alright, so this some sort of warehouse thing. Whoopsie. Ah, this leads to green spawn. So green could go through here up a ladder as well. What else can green do? They can go around the back. There's a house way in the back, which is like cheap motherfucker's house, basically. Like, I'm going to go in here and snipe. And when it comes towards me, I'm going to cap him. Like, I mean, there's not much you can do. Like, if the dude wants to hide in here, he's going to fucking hide in here. Look at this. You got to... Like, run the green mile, basically. Death row to get here. You know? You... Yeah, there's that view there. So I guess it's not... You can't look in all positions, but... The round is a draw. The round is a draw. Let's go red. Make sure I know what I'm seeing here. Okay, red team spawns further back than I thought. Okay, red spawns back here. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. This is where red spawns? No. Does red spawn here? Yeah, oh my god, they do. I'm thinking of uh, the campaign in Alpine. Where you spawn. That's where I, where I thought red spawn. They actually spawn here. That's right. So red had the ability to go glitch out of the map. You could like mash on crouch as I already told you about. And there's some places out here. That I, don't, I think they're, they've they since been patched out. But you see when you don't go prone. Even though I'm mashing crouch. Those are places that would have been like glitch friendly. So from the red spawn. There's a couple different barnyards they can perch up in. Get that view. They can also kind of like shoot through the tree towards that building. There's a ladder. You can guess where that takes you. Uh, but usually they would go either this way or that way. Let's so take this way. This leads to the center position. You can go through there. Or you can go up there. Or through here, which leads to this. And of course, a good view of this place. You're pretty well obscured. And, uh, let's see. Up the ladder. Get 
get a good view of this, which, you know, green might be trying to rush her spawn. Come up on the top floor. Okay. Can't break that. Where's my crowbar? Let's go down, I guess. Okay, this leads down the basement. Now, the basement was a green thing, wasn't it? Yeah, green spawns like up here, right? So they could come down here. This is why you raise the gamma, so you don't have to do this. And they could light this place up or just camp here the whole damn time. Because they get here much faster. That's a crazy door. Why would you ever go out that door? That's, just, that's lunacy. Um, let's go up the stairs. Yeah, that's a pretty good view as well of that place. For green, if green were to, to come up on you and you're hiding in there. Interesting. The round is a draw. So I think red can get here to that point quicker if they just don't go up the ladder. So I'm going to try that. You don't go faster when you switch weapons or anything. Yeah, they could just do this stuff. It's still way slower than the, how green would get to the basement. But they can get to at least this position. And uh, let's go back to the spawn again. I'm discovering things myself. See, I, I forgot a lot about these maps. Still got the deagle. Fuck this. So yeah, this is the other entrance pretty much that you would take to the basement. So this is your quick entry to the basement for red team. But uh, this is still a room away and usually they're gonna get you get the jump on you here. So you kinda just Cautiously approach this door and go at it from there. That's that's Alpine Village. It's you know it's whatever. It's not really that special. It's good though when you could glitch. It was really good. Probably still can, but I don't recall how to do it. The round is a draw. The round is a draw. The match is a draw. That it is. It is a draw. Alright. Bank is... The map is too big. It is not... It's like more of an objective style. You're not going to be doing a... No one played Bank. You did not play it in a team deathmatch scenario. It's, it's just not something you can do. You can. But you're not. You're not going to do it. M82, let's try this out. With the scope. Let's get our MK back. Mortal Kombat 23. JHP. Yeah, these are pretty large maps. I, I'm not going to be able to recall all the, the places where shit goes on. It's just uh, too much. But let us go on an adventure through the bank. Ah, yes. This door right here. This is a balcony. There is a whole outside area that no one ever used. And then, yeah, this... A lot of shooting around this area. Yeah, because green comes in... Or red comes in summer. Oh, hey, it's a ah, dead body. I think red might start down here. I don't know. Not actually sure. That's a outdoor, right? No, this is bulletproof glass. Well, that's kind of nice. Never noticed that. There's a vault down here. Yeah, this is an objective kind of a map that you can play deathmatch, but no one does. The vault's not locked. 
typical vault, you know. That's just uh, they work on a trust system here in this bank. Good God, man! There's fucking doors for days. Door days. Can't open doors while you're reloading. Makes sense. Door days. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's check out red. The round is a draw. Yeah, bank is too complicated for me. Not something I'm willing to play. Especially like a 1v1. That would be just... Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Starting a computer room. I got it. Yeah. By the view of that staircase, you can go up. And this staircase, you can go up. You can also go down this hall. This is a shootout. That hallway. It's a shootout. So here's the staircase I was talking about. Then that's another shootout right there. And another one out there. You can do some sneaky operations over there. Once again, red team. I know a lot about red. That's weird. Yeah, and then, you know, all that nonsense. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. I wonder why single shot is so much louder. Is there like a science real life reason for that? You can go outdoors. <laughs> Nobody does that. It's crazy. And yeah, this is a, a green team could pretty much get here. Or go up. This is their equivalent of like the computer room, right? There's a computer, see? Computer room. Told you. Fuck computers and shit. Front door. Didn't they start upstairs though? I don't know. Whatever. It's the fucking bank, and like, who cares? It's fucking bank. The round is a draw. It's a cute map, but it's not really a good map for, uh, you know. Let's get rid of that. That, 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 that. We got parade left. Let's add airport. One and two, which, you know, sure. Oil refinery, which is the one no one ever plays. Mountain highway, which people used to play, but not anymore. And then the shitty maps, meatpacking. Parade. Fun map, also kind of large. Uh, not typically used. We're just going to keep this loadout. Not typically used for team deathmatch. Pretty cool parade, huh? Like, look at this, like, mossy, loggy thing. There's a Grim Reaper hanging out. Must be, like, Day of the Dead shit. It's a Chinese dragon thing. A hobo mattress. You can scope out this marketplace. Over here is green. Wait for red to unsuspectingly just wander in, right? Yeah, once again, that's definitely the red team that is, uh... Basically, this is red team, the game. Ground. Look at this parade. It's pretty amazing, right? So loud and exciting. A lot of parading going on. Maybe it's... Maybe this parade is not, like, moving yet. Maybe... I guess, because there's railings here, right? So that means it's not yet... set up. What is the music... So, yeah, Red has the cool shit. They got, like, a casino. Fuck yeah. Yep. And you have this, like... This is not balanced at all, because you have... All these floors for the red team. You have like apartment or apartments. You have like hotel rooms. They could be apartments. I don't know. Um, and multiple floors to go up and a rooftop. 
yeah, this is just not... Rooftop, skyline, fucking sniper city up here. Look at this. You definitely, they have their own roof up there on green, but they're, look at their building. Look at this stupid little building. Red team, man. Holy shit. Red team just bodies this, this team. You know, watch me say that, but it's the opposite. Red looks way more appealing. You even have all these windows here. So many windows to pop out of. Red team. What? Dyslexic. Sewer dice. Alright, let's change our... Man, red team is dope. But let's see where we start. Maybe we start somewhere crap. I don't know. Starting in this hotel room. My instinct is to run here to the stairs and run down. Yep. 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 Red team. Red team. I guess green is a much shorter trek. Here's the casino. Don't look down that door there. You can hide in here. Watch the entrance in case they're bold enough to come right in the front door. The side door is uh, the alley. This is uh, the place of approach a lot of people have, both red and green. Corvo. Corvo! That's, uh, dishonored, right? No, let's, let's look more green here. Like, the green's got to have some special... Maybe it's better to have less. At least it's some staircase, I'm sure. Uh, you have this marketplace. Marketplace and some cubby holes. That doesn't work, that door. I don't know, I just don't see it. What's like awesome about this? Certainly you can get to these windows way quicker because that's where you spawn. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's. It's the whole thing, man. Is there a roof? Did I miss a roof? Oh, there's definitely got to be a roof. It's definitely a roof, right? No roof? No roof? Oh, there might be a ladder. Yeah, okay. You come out here. I think green just gets faster everywhere, pretty much. Yeah. Way more uh, red shenanigans can be going on though. So. The round is a draw. Oh, it's a parade. Not much of a parade. Parade just sitting there. All right, airport, airport, oil refinery, highway, meatpacking. Airport, oil refinery. Highway and meatpacking. Four more maps. Airport's fun. It was played a lot at the offset, of, you know, at the beginning of the game's existence, and not so much towards the end. So. I know where green starts. Positive. So green starts here. And this is this is the place right there. It's where all the shit happens. Down that. Down this outdoor hallway. Here it is. Because the red team will be also setting up over here. I remember practicing how to throw frags uh, with clan members on these windows in particular. Frag out. So that was awkward. Frag out. Yeah, we're doing a lot of what Oh it's closed. I'm that doofus. Well no wonder it's bouncing out. Frag out. 
Nice, yeah. I need to be just teaching, like, learn how to bank. And do all these passing grenade throws and stuff. So yeah, airport's cool. So red can come in from this side, and green would come in up the stairs from this side. So they would have a view over this, because the staircase is uh, right by their spawn. And typically green's already here. By the time red gets there, they're already ready to be capping. Let's look at some of the other avenues. We can run through the middle here of this building. And red will typically be running alongside here because they spawn right there. Right here, pretty much. They can go in this building, which is a large building. Hide out here. Yep. Nice little finger. And the hangar leads to that same building we were just in, I think. Yeah, you got your ladder. Goes upstairs. You got this, which here we are. Ladder goes upstairs. So I think red can reach this hallway through that means. Right? Yeah. Gotta do this. The ladder somewhere, is there? There it is, yeah. Walk through, break the window, you can camp their own spawn side, or get a different angle on this hallway, look at this building across. These are just uh, small rooms. Well, not that one, but this one. Back to green, which I think green has a little bit more to start with uh, here. So here's their crazy hideout building like the red kind of owns that hangar over there but green has this one which the round is a draw is full of a uh, fire trucks and ambulances so start on red oh okay red actually starts here oh there's an airport too right sorry i forgot there's two airports this is definitely the airport everyone remembers, is the one where green spawns over there. So Typically, he would run this way. So I guess they both have an equal opportunity in that open hallway. There's the middle building thing that you walk through. There's the green building where they can hide out in their ambulance chamber. Here's a stupid place with nothing. Here's the little back. The back, which uh, this is like the other green approach. Just pretty much look down that alleyway or turn around and come out and come out this side basically. So run here, typically red and green will meet down here. You might be able to get around this building. Actually I'm pretty sure green gets a vantage point around this building and I like to go prone here and pop feet and shoot barrels. So, this is yet another entrance right here to the ambulance chamber. It's a pretty cool name for a building, if I say so myself. Aug is just the coolest. And this building, kind of a weird building. Once again, closer to green. The time is in London. It's uh, 6, 10, and that's... Sure. What? Okay. I thought the minutes were different. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Let me go through this. It doesn't make noise. It'd be cool if it did. And this is just a big hideout building. These buildings, like... Towards the end of the rounds, this is where you go, is these buildings to flush people out. But it's all about the beginning of the round and the push clash of uh, power. You can hide in this plane. Sneaky. Sneaky stuff. Frag out. Oh, I, my mouse slipped there. Frag out. Frag out. Look at that. It's pro grenading. I'm pro at grenading. 
All right, let's uh, go on to Airport 2 just to see the difference in spawns. Let's do that. Let's get rid of them. Boom. And you did not do, like, peer-to-peer -peer stuff. Typically, you had to have a server back then because everyone's internet was terrible, you know, back in the day. So peer-to-peer -peer was just not an option. Like this server that I made myself where you connect to my IP, it would never run well. So you had to have, you had to be in a clan because they had the servers and shit. So this is airport, but at night. And we're going to see if there's a difference in spawns. Yeah, okay, so we spawn inside the ambulance. So ambulance comes out here. And, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff there. You can also come out the back here and camp where I just showed you. Where you lay down and all that. The round is a draw. I imagine red spawns in the hangar. Their hangar or whatever that's called. Assuming. I don't actually know where this is. Ah. Uh, what? What? No, they spawn in this funny building. That's interesting. That's interesting. I don't have an opinion on that. I don't have an opinion on that spawn. I think that's a strange spawn. That's weird. Airport 2 is stupid. So, yeah, stupid. Airport 2 is stupid, stupid, stupid. Three more maps, four if you count meat planking uh, 2, which... <laughs> Whatever, I don't even know anything about 2. So, this is the rail yard, pretty much. First map in the game. Single player, you would spawn here as a team, but, you know, who plays single player? All right. You can go on the rail yard if you want. Go up there, or you can go down there. So, here's the rail yard. Lots of uh, long distance scope and action. Is there a door right there? Is that blocked? I think it's blocked. Okay. Let's take the bottom first. See what's up. Yep. here blah 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 got a good look at this catwalk fuck windows and yep people shoot it out here this goes to this place this is uh, I believe the red spawn right in that room close to it. People didn't play this map a lot. They really didn't. It was not a favorite. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Nothing wrong with it, just it wasn't a favorite. Callaway door. Callaway! Yep. The round is a draw. Switch to red here. There's red spawn. That's not a door. That's a door. It goes outside. There's the ladder. Go down to the same rail yard, but I think red has a dis an advantage there. Uh, they'd either go in that door in there, or they'd go here, and of course, duke it out. Duke it out. 
the bottom of that weird room. Yeah. Okay. Seen enough. Meh. Meh. Not very good map. Just, it's there. It's a map. Mountain Highway is another one. Another one that nobody really cares for. All these outdoor snowy ones are just, uh... Alright, so green, I know you can go down this immediately. To the caverns. I can't remember where we get shot at from. If it's up there on that staircase. Or if it's down here. So that's where the shooting happens. Either way. Is there room in here? And I think red comes from here. This hole in the wall. So yeah, they come from there. We can wrap around this way. I think it happens like up here. This is where it happens. Someone will camp it this way. Someone will be peeking from over there. And this is red spawn. They spawn back here. Uh, they can go this way, which is also like a hilly mountain climb as well. This just leads to the same place you were. <laughs> and then this would be a place to camp. Down there. Because that's where a lot of shooting is going to take place. Or you're going to die on the staircase. Back on the red side. Or the green side, sorry, that's me. We spawned over here, up this mountain. Right over there. Right oh wow, this is kind of far away. Right over there. Okay. You go inside this house, camp it out. It's typical up upstairs there's uh the big staircase right there. Which some will go down, and some will take this mountain path instead. Look over the side, which you can... Great vantage point for anyone on the red team that's trying to make the trek up. Uh, I think green's pretty well well off here. I think red more likely is going to take the cavernous approach. Because getting up this hill is, is suicide. And there's the red spawn right over there. Yeah, this map was played a lot early on in Raven Shield's history. Yep, there's that alternate door to that same place. There's the spawn. There you go. That's the round is a draw. Ooh, I didn't get suicide. So that's that. Now all that's left are the worst maps in the game. To me, packing one and two. Uh, makes for a fun, like, terrorist hunt kind of a thing, but not fun for multiplayer. So here's me packing. It's a uh, big area. Okay, green. Uh, this right here would be pretty heated battle right there. Because red would be over here somewhere, and they'd be trying to get a peek in. Trying to get their peek on from there. Or were they in here? No. They had to be here. I think they might even spawn right here. No. That's where... I don't know. It's me packing. It, it sucks. Look at it. It sucks. Red room. Got a little office. Overlook. This fucking map sucks. There's an outdoor area. They got a cow on the door. Look at that. It's clever, but what are you selling here? 
Peru. It's our outdoor area. Get to camp here for a minute. Yep, yep, yep. There's got to be another entrance, correct? Must be there. Yeah, meat packing. I don't like it. Just the. It's one of those things that you, I can't really articulate why I don't like it. It's just if you played it, you realize this map sucks. It's just like the tension is all wrong. Oh, I think we might have spawned in the locker rooms. This red. Let's find out. The round is a draw. Let us find out. This is fun. It's a nice blast from the past. Oh, no. They spawn here. This is... Yeah, I must be thinking the other... I'd... I can't even tell where this is. Oh, close to the locker rooms, though. So, right through here. We would set charges on this level. We'd be doing a lot of Semtex. You know? This is a pretty good base of operations. This hallway gets a little hairy. And then there it is, uh... That's the room I was talking about. And since we spawned over here, I was kind of right. I mean, this is a rush to this little opening. So The round is a draw. Hmm. What's me packing to? I never remember that. I have no memory. None whatsoever. Start on red this time and change it up. Change it up, man. Oh, yeah, I remember this spawn. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the one I remember the most. Yeah. Had the lobby or the lunchroom, whatever you call it. Yep. You're coming through here. There's the fucking opening I'm talking about. And then you, this is what I was talking about. And this is where all the shit happens. You're capping there, you're capping there. Because the green side's coming from this hallway. So, note to self, meatpacking 2. Uh, the lights are on, which makes it better, clearly. Meatpacking 1 is terrible atrocity of humankind and shouldn't it should be erased from existence. Meatpacking 2 is okay. It's okay. I didn't even know there was a staircase here. Look at this. I would not have known that because it's so dark, meatpacking 1. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, red spawn is sick on this. It's sick. Got some shit, overlooking some shit. I'm coming around. Me packing two, pretty legit. Totally the opposite of me packing one, which is the worst map in history. Even though it's the same map. Totally the opposite. Spawns are better. Look at this. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's check out green side. The round is a draw. Fuck yeah. I can't wait to play some one v one. A body West AP. Show him a real man's first person shooter. Not that Counter Strike bullshit. The Counter Strike bullshit. And you know, I thought for a minute maybe I was remembering this with like rose colored glasses, you know what I mean? Yeah, green sucks in this. If you get green, you're fucked. Green's that fuckboy status. I'm not about this life. It's green life. Not about it. This hallway looks serious though. That's a serious hallway. Uh, this is the hallway I was talking about, right? And then there's that opening. Yep. And then you could also take this route. Meet in the cafeteria and have a battle to death. Alright, that's... There you go, that's fucking... The round Raven Shield. Those are the, the maps, man. I mean... I fucking love this game. Somebody, hey! Play me in Raven Shield. Let's... Let's start it up, man. Let's get a whole, like, five to ten people playing Raven Shield. It'd be, like, pretty cool. Come on. Please. All right. Let's go back to the menu, the main menu. Uh, listen to that dope music. I like how the window resizes to this, like, midget window. This song is so good, listen to this. 